Welcome back to Kaya. Let's explore. This is Mr. Patuk's woodshop. He's not here right now. This is the greenhouse, where we grow vegetables and other plants. Nobody's in there now. Looks like the library is closed right now. This is the spooky house. It doesn't look like anyone's in there. Spooky. Pick blueberries so Dad can make blueberry jam. All done! Here in Alaska, we only take what we need, and we've got a full basket. to Dad. I'll add them to my backpack. Hi, Molly. Hi, Dad. Did you find any blueberries? Yep, they're in my backpack. Let's get them from my backpack. Anna Basi, thanks for the blueberries, Mall. Now I can make blueberry jam. Molly, how's it going? Hey, Trini, that snowball fight was fun. Alaskan Adventure Hey, everyone. I've been getting lots of questions from my vlog viewers about all the cool animals that live in Alaska. So Nina and Mom are taking me to do some research. We'll take photos of the animals and make notes about what we see. Then add them all to my notebook. Afterwards, I'll answer viewers' animal questions in my vlog. Choose a place to go and marsh, river, forest, boreal owls in the forest. Let's photograph boreal owls for our notebook. Molly, did you know that boreal owls are nocturnal? They hunt at night. During the day, they sleep in small holes in trees. We need a photo of an owl. Nice photo. You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Nice photos! You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos! Choose a photo to match this caption. A caption gives us information that tells about a picture. Boreal owls are nocturnal. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. If you're done, tap the check mark. Can you draw a picture to match this caption? Boreal owls are nocturnal. Use the colors to draw the picture. If you want to trace the photo you took, use the slider to help you. You can undo if you make a mistake.
Are you done? Tap the check mark or tap your drawing to start over. A cut A. All done. Wow, we collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about boreal owls in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about boreal owls. Choose a place to go. Red foxes in the forest. Let's photograph red foxes for our notebook. Molly, did you know that baby foxes are called pups or kits? We need a photo of a baby red fox. Nice photos! You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos! Choose a photo to match this caption. Baby red foxes are called pups or kits. This is where Connie lives. Connie's great at building and fixing things. It doesn't look like she's home, though. What can you find at the lake? Tap the arrows to explore. Ooh, a fox! Look at those caribou! Cool! An owl! Aww! Snow hairs! Beating art! Hi, I'm Molly, and my mom is helping me learn how to bead. Beading is an important part of our culture. These are all my beading design cards. Design cards teach people how to make new things. Choose one of Molly's designs or make your own. Here are all my beading designs. My family and friends gave me many of these. Pick the design you'd like to make. Mountain flower. Butterfly. Wolf paw print. Leaves. Suki. Kaya Northern Lights. Here's the design card you picked. Kaya Northern Lights. Awesome! The card tells us the title of the design and a description. It also has the list of materials and the steps for beating our design. This design has nine steps. Let's get started. We should make sure we have everything we need. Read the materials list and tap all the items we'll be using. Materials Pencil Cloth Bead box Needles Thread Tap everything we need. Pencil That's on our list. Cloth That's on our list. Needles That's on our list. Bead box That's on our list. Paper clips That's not on our list. Let's check the list again. Material Red Great job! You looked at the list of materials and picked everything we need. Now let's read the steps we need to follow. Step 1. Trace the shape with the pencil. Tracing the shape tells us what the design looks like. Tap to trace the shape. Looks good! Step 2. Choose the yellow beads. That's right! That's the color we need for this step. Let's go to the next step. Step 3.
four. Choose the purple beads. That's right. That's the color we need for this step. Let's go to the next step. Step five. Stitch the purple beads until you're done. Step six, choose the green beads. That's right, that's the color we need for this step. Let's go to the next step. Step seven, stitch the green beads until you're done. Step eight, choose the blue beads. That's right, that's the color we need for this step. Let's go to the next step. Step nine, stitch the blue beads until you're done. Quincy, this design looks amazing. I think it would make a great gift. Pick something to put our design on. Shruncha, looks great. This will be a nice gift for one of my friends in Kaya. Choose one of Molly's designs or make your own. I can't wait to give this present to my friend Trini. She'll love what I beaded for her. I'll add it to my backpack. Hi, Molly! Hey, Trini! I beaded something special just for you. It's in my backpack. Let's get it from my back. Wow, that's so nice of you. Thanks, Molly. Let's collect some agate stones to bring to mom. All done! Here in Alaska, we only take what we need. And we've got five beautiful agate stones. Let's bring the agate stones to mom. I'll add them to my backpack. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Did you find any agate stones? Yep, they're in my backpack. Let's get them from my backpack. Thanks for the agates, Molly. 
I'll polish these up so we can sell them at the trading post. Tap the basketball to shoot it into the hoop. Job. Woohoo. Woohoo. Awesome. Yeah. Want to have another snowball fight? Meet me and Trini at the snow fort. That sounds awesome. See you there. Fish camp. Everyone, my dad taught me how to fish for food. Now I'm fishing with Trini and her dad, and I have a book to help us. Which way should we? Let's catch some salmon to feed the sled dogs. Here's a book we can use. It's called Alaskan Fishing. We need a part of our fish wheel to catch all the fish. Tap the book to open it. I'm here to help you while you play. Try tapping on me right now. Alaskan Fishing by Gil Nett. We'll check the table of contents to see the different parts of the book. What part of the book will help us find out about fish wheels? Contents. Parts of a fishing rod. Page 1. Saving fish for winter. Page 4. Parts of a fish wheel. Page 6. What part of the book will help us find out about fish wheels? Well done! You use the table of contents to choose the page about fish wheels. Let's read the book to help us choose the part of the fish wheel that will catch all the fish. Parts of a fish wheel. Fish wheels are a traditional form of fishing. Net. Net scoop the fish out of the water. Base. The base floats in the water and holds up the wheel. Trough. Troughs are boxes that catch the fish as they leave the nets. Tap the part of the fish wheel that will catch salmon. Yay! You use the diagram to figure out the part we need to catch the fish. We're almost ready to fish. Tap to match everyone with their boots. Great job! Let's fish! This is our fish wheel. It spins around in the water and catches fish in the net. After the net catches fish, the salmon come out of a slide. We need three full troughs of salmon. But which slide will the fish come down? Tap to move the trough to the side where they slide down to catch them. That trough is full. It's time to fill another. an empty one. That trap is full. Nice fishing! That's all that we need to catch today. We believe that we don't catch the salmon. 
the salmon give themselves to us. So we take only what we need. The dogs love the chum salmon. Masi Cho, thank you to the salmon. That was fun. Let's keep going. Let's catch some salmon for dinner. We need to pick the best fishing rod to catch a salmon. Which one should we pick? Tap the book to open it. Alaskan Fishing by Gil Neff. What part of the book will help us find out about fishing rods? Contents. Parts of a fishing rod. Page 1. Saving fish for winter. Page 4. Parts of a fish wheel. Page 6. What part of the book will help us find out about fishing rods? Great job! You use the table of contents to choose the page about fishing rods. Let's read the book to help us choose a good fishing rod to catch salmon. Parts of a fishing rod. Handle. The handle is the place to hold the rod. Line. The line is the long string that goes into the water. Reel. The reel is used to pull up the line. Hook. The hook catches the fish. Tap the fishing rod with all of the important parts. You got it! You use the diagram to choose a fishing rod with the important parts. We're nearly ready to fish! Tap to put on our life jackets. Great job! Let's fish! Let's go fishing! We need three fish. Press and hold the arrows to raise and lower the lure. You can use your keyboard arrow keys too! and hold the arrow to bring it up to the boat. Hooray! We caught a fish. Only two more to go. We caught a salmon. Press and hold the arrow to bring it up to the boat. Woohoo! We caught another fish. We only need one more. and hold the arrow to bring it up to the boat. Great fishing! That's all that we need to catch today. This salmon was delicious. Masi Cho, thank you to the salmon. That was fun! Let's keep going. Let's catch lots of salmon to eat in the winter. How can we save our salmon once we catch them? Tap the book to open it. Alaskan Fishing by Gil Neff. What part of the book will help us find out about saving our salmon for later? Contents. Parts of a fishing rod. Page 1. Saving fish for winter. Page 4. Parts of a fish wheel. Page 6. What part of the book will help us find out about saving our salmon for later? Good job! You use the table of contents to choose the page about saving fish for winter. Let's read the book to find out what to do first to save our salmon. Saving fish for winter. After a fish is prepared, it smokes so that it can be eaten all winter. Salmon are dried on a drying rack. Logs are burned to make smoke. Salmon are hung over the logs to be smoked. Tap the first step we have to do to save our salmon for later. Well done! You use the flow diagram to choose the first step. We're not ready to fish yet. Time to put a snack into our bag. Great job! Let's fish! We need more fish to fill our trough. That trough is full. It's time to fill another. It's full! Here's an empty. 
empty one. That trap is full. Great fishing! That's all that we need to catch today. This salmon will be great to eat in the winter. Masi Cho! Thank you to the salmon. We finished our fishing adventure. Let's go on another one. Great fishing! We still have more chun salmon. Let's bring some to Tui so he can feed it to his sled dogs. I'll add the fish to my backpack. I just caught some really big fish. Now I have some extra fish in my backpack that you can feed to your dogs. Let's get it from my backpack. Whoa! Awesome! My dogs love eating chump salmon. Oyana! That means thanks in the Yupik language. Hi, Molly. Hi, Grandpa Nat. I'm going on an expedition, and I may need your help while I'm there. Can you visit Tui at his dog kennel to get ready for a sledding mission? I'm always up for a sledding mission. Masicho. Thanks, Molly. Molly? Hi, Auntie Midge. More people are asking for my famous syrup. Can you collect more sap for me? Sure thing. Mustn't cho. Thanks, Molly. Collect sap to bring to Auntie Midge so she can make her syrup. First, drill a hole in the tree. Next, put the spile, a small tube, into the tree. This is how the sap will flow out. Then, pound the spile in to get it just deep enough to stay in place. Now, hang the bucket to collect the sap. All done! Here in Alaska, we only take what we need, and we've got a full bucket. Let's bring the sap to Auntie Midge. I'll add it to my backpack. Hi, Molly. Hi, Auntie Midge. Did you find any sap for me? Yep. It's in my backpack. Let's get it from my backpack. Thanks, Molly. This sap will make delicious syrup we can have with pancakes. This is Mr. Patuk's wood shop. He's not here right now. How's it going, Molly? Can you pick me some fresh blueberries so I can make some more blueberry jam? I'd love to help. Anabasi! Thanks, Molly. Let's pick blueberries so Dad can make blueberry jam. All done! Here in Alaska, we only take what we need, and we've got a full basket. Let's bring the blueberries to Dad. I'll add them to my backpack. This is 
is the greenhouse, where we grow vegetables and other plants. Nobody's in there now. How's it going, Molly? Hi, Dad. Did you find any blueberries? Yep, they're in my backpack. Let's get them from my backpack. Anabasi, thanks for the blueberries, Mall. Now I can make blueberry jam. Hi, Mall. Hi, Mom. I'd love some more agate stones. Can you find any more at the river? Yeah, I'm on it. Masi, ciao. Thanks, Molly. Let's collect some agate stones to bring to Mom. Alaska, we only take what we need, and we've got five beautiful agate stones. Let's bring the agate stones to Mom. I'll add them to my backpack. How's it going, Mom? Hi, Mom. Did you find any agate stones? Yep, they're in my backpack. Let's get them from my backpack. Wow, thanks for the agates, Molly. I'll polish these up so we can sell them at the trading post. Have a snowball fight. Tap to throw snowballs at Trini and Chewie. And watch out! <laughs> Look out! Molly? Not much. Great day for exploring. Want to have another snowball fight? Meet me and Trini at the snow fort. That sounds awesome. See you there. Hey there, Molly. 
How's it going? Hey, Trini. If you want, we can grow giant vegetables in my garden. Veggiezilla. Hi, everyone. It's me. Cabbage. Here are our cabbage plants. We're going to take care of them so they can grow really big for the fair. If you want to take a break or start over, tap this button. Use your gardening tools to keep your plants healthy. Oh no! The soil in our garden is getting too dry. Which of these will help us find out how- Great job! Nice! This informational blog post can help us learn how to fix our soil. Plants need lots of water. When soil gets dry, gardeners water their gardens with watering cans or hoses. What tool should we use to water our soil? Tap the soil to add water. Awesome! Our soil isn't dry anymore, and our plants are growing. Awesome! Amazing! Amazing! Gwenzy! That's awesome! We are ready for the fair! Let's see how much the cabbage weighs. And we won first place in the Alaska State Fair. I can't wait to share these yummy vegetables with our friends and family. Woohoo! Let's grow some more big vegetables. Tap the button to choose another vegetable. We've got a new vegetable to grow. Squash! Squash! Here are our squash plants. We are going to take care of them so they can grow really big for the fair. A 
hare. It's hungry for our veggies. What can we read to learn how to remove hairs from the garden? Which of these will help us find out how to keep hairs away from our garden? A book called Dr. Frank. Great job! Nice! This seed packet can help us learn how to keep hairs away. Clover can be planted near gardens to keep away animals like hares. Hares eat the clover and leave the garden alone. What tool should we use to keep tap the grass to plant clover? Nice! That clover will keep hairs out of our garden. We are ready for the fair. Let's see how much the squash weighs. We did it! Gwenzy, that squash is huge! And we won first place in the Alaska State Fair! I can't wait to share these yummy vegetables with our friends and family! Woohoo! Let's grow some more big vegetables! Tap the button to choose another vegetable. We've got a new vegetable to grow. Radish. Here are our radish plants. We're going to take care of them so they can grow really big for the fair. Insects called aphids are invading our garden. They will eat parts of our veggies. What can we read to learn how to remove aphids from our garden? Which of these will help us find out how to remove aphids from our garden? A seed packet called broccoli seeds. Hmm, that seed. Great job! Cool! This book can help us learn how to remove aphids from the garden. Aphids are insects that eat plants. Farmers add ladybugs to their garden. The ladybugs eat the aphids so the plants can grow. What? Tap the soil to let out grape. Those ladybugs will defend our plant from aphids. Lindsay!
Awesome! We are ready for the fair. Let's see how much the radish weighs. We did it! Awesome! That radish is humongous! And we won first place in the Alaska State Fair! I can't wait to share these yummy vegetables with our friends and family! Woohoo! Let's grow some more big vegetables. Tap the button to choose another vegetable. We've got a new vegetable to grow. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. Radish. Cauliflower. Radish. Squash. Cabbage. Squash. Radish. Here are our cauliflower plants. We're going to take care of them so they can grow really big for the fair. are growing in our garden. Weeds will stop our plants from growing. What can we read to learn how to get rid of weeds? Which of these will help us find out how to get rid of weeds? Great job! Nice! This informational blog post can help us learn how to get rid of weeds. Weeds are plants that can stop other plants from growing. Gardeners use a tool called a trowel to take weeds out of their gardens. What? Tap the soil to get rid of... Woohoo! The weeds are gone! And our plants are growing! Awesome job! We are ready for the fair. Let's see how much the cauliflower weighs. We did it! Great job! That cauliflower is gigantic! And we won first place in the Alaska State Fair! I can't wait to share these yummy vegetables with our friends and family! Woohoo! Let's grow some more big vegetables! Tap the button to choose another vegetable. We've got a new vegetable to grow. Pumpkin. Here are our pumpkin plants. We're going to take care of them so they can grow really big for the fair.
Uh-oh! A snail is attacking the garden and eating our veggies. What can we read to learn how to remove snails from the garden? Which of these will help us find out how to remove snails from our garden? A Great job! Awesome! This book can help us learn how to keep snails out. Snails eat vegetable greens. Gardeners use traps to keep snails away from the greens. What tool should we tap the soil to add a snail trap? Yes! That trap will catch the snail so we can remove it from the garden. Awesome! We are ready for the fair. Let's see how much the pumpkin weighs. We did it! Fantastic! That pumpkin is massive! And we won first place in the Alaska State Fair! I can't wait to share these yummy vegetables with our friends and family! Woohoo! Let's grow some more big vegetables. Tap the button to choose another vegetable. Squash, cabbage, We are ready for the fair. Let's see how much the cabbage weighs. We did 
it. Wow, that cabbage is enormous. And we won first place in the Alaska State Fair. I can't wait to share these yummy vegetables with our friends and family. Woohoo! Let's grow some more big vegetables. Tap the button to choose another vegetable. Choose a vegetable to grow. Cabbage. the greenhouse where we grow vegetables and other plants. Nobody's in there now. How's it going, Molly? Hi, Auntie Midge. More people are asking for my famous syrup. This is Mr. Patuck's wood shop. He's not here right now. Hey there, Molly. Hi, Mom. Looks like the... This is where Connie lives. Connie's great at building and fixing things. It doesn't look like she's home, though. Hi there, Molly. This is the greenhouse where we grow vegetables and other plants. Nobody's in there now. This is Mr. Patuck's wood shop. He's not here right now. Looks like the library is closed right now. The spooky house. It doesn't look like anyone's in there. Spooky. What can you find at the river? Tap the arrows to explore. That's a big salmon. Cool, an owl. You spotted a dinjik, a moose. Ooh, a fox. Want to have another snowball fight? Meet me and Trini at the snow fort. That sounds awesome. See you there. Hi, Molly. Hi, Grandpa Nat. Your mom called and said the trading post is very busy. Can you go help her out? Sure. I love helping out at the trading post. Masicho. 
Thanks, Molly. How's it going, Mal? Hi, Mom. I'd love some more agate stones. Can you find any more at the river? Yeah, I'm on it. Masi, ciao. Thanks, Molly. How's it going, Molly? Hi, Dad. Can you pick me some fresh blueberries so I can make some more blueberry jam? I'd love to help. Anabasi, thanks, Molly. Hi, Molly. Hey, Trini. If you want, we can grow giant vegetables in my garden. Hey there, Molly. How's it going? Hey, Trini. If you want, we can grow giant vegetables in my garden. Hey there, Molly. How's it going? Hey, Trini. If you want, we can grow giant vegetables in my garden. Hi, Molly. Hey, Trini. If you want, we can grow giant vegetables in my garden. Do you want some treats, Suki? I have some in my backpack. Let's get them from my backpack. Throw the treats to Suki. enough treats for Suki. Denali Trading Post Hey everyone, it's me, Molly. Welcome to the Denali Trading Post. This is a busy store, and Suki and I could really use your help. Let's see who we can help first. Kenji is here with a shopping list. You're looking for a toy? Great! We have what you want. Let's see what's on your list. A snow globe. Tap the arrow to find it. Let's find the toy. When you find it, tap a snow globe. Woohoo! We found it! Have a great day, Kenji! Someone else is here with a shopping list. Hi, Vera! Let's see what's on your list. A flashlight and a map. Tap the arrow to find each thing. Let's find the camping gear. A flashlight. A map. Yeah, we found everything. Have a great day, Vera. This place is hopping today, Suki. Hello, Mr. Fatuk. Let's see what's on your list. Lip balm and lotion. Tap the arrow to find each thing. Let's find what they wanted. Lip balm. <coughs> Lotion. <coughs> Woohoo! Masit Cho! Thanks, Mr. Patuk. Let's put these things away. Drag each one to its empty spot. Now you put the rest away. Good job! We put everything away. Let's collect some agate stones to bring to Mom. All done! Here in Alaska, we only take what we need. And we've got five beautiful agate stones. Let's bring the agate stones to Mom. I'll add them to my backpack. This is Mr. Patuk's wood shop. He's not here right now. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Did you find any agate stones? Yep, they're in my backpack. Let's get them from my backpack. Wow, 
Oh, thanks for the agates, Molly. I'll polish these up so we can sell them at the trading post. Pick blueberries for Dad. Pick blueberries for Dad. Let's pick blueberries so Dad can make blueberry jam. All done! Here in Alaska, we only take what we need, and we've got a full basket. Let's bring the blueberries to Dad. I'll add them to my backpack. Hi, Molly. Hi, Dad. Did you find any blueberries? Yep. They're in my backpack. Let's get them from my backpack. Anabasi! Thanks for the blueberries, Mall. Now I can make blueberry jam. That's where Tui is. That's where Grandpa Nat is. That's where Mom is. That's where Dad is. That's where Trini is. That's where Auntie Midge is. That's where Suki is. That's where I am. Bring the ball to the basketball hoop at school. Bring the ball to the bring 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 the ball to the basketball hoop at school. Hey there, Molly. How's it going? Hey, Trini. If you want, we can grow giant vegetables in my garden. How's it going? Looks like the light. Hi, Mall. Hi, Mom. I'd love some more agate stones. Can you find? This is the greenhouse where we grow vegetables and other plants. Nobody's in there now. Looks like the library is closed right now. How's it going, Mall? Hi, Mom. I'd love some more agate stones. Can you find any more at the river? Yeah, I'm on it. Masi, ciao. Thanks, Molly. Collect agate stones for Mom. Let's collect some agate stones to bring to Mom. That means thank you in the Gwich In language. Here in Alaska, we always say thank you to nature. Let's bring the agate stones to Mom. I'll add them to my backpack. Hi, Mall. Hi, Mom. Did you find any agate stones? Yep, they're in my backpack. Let's get them from my backpack. Wow! Thanks for the agates, Molly. I'll polish these up so we can sell them at the trading post. Denali Trading Post. School! Agate Stones. Pick blueberries so Dad can make blueberry jam. Masi cho blueberries. That means thank you in the Gwich In language. Here in Alaska, we always say thank you to nature. Let's bring the blueberries to Dad. I'll add them to my backpack. Let's 
collect some e How's it going, Molly? Hi, Dad. Did you find any blueberries? Yep, they're in my backpack. Let's get them from my backpack. Anna Bassi, thanks for the blueberries, Ma. Now I can make blueberry jam. This is Mr. Patuk's wood shop. He's not here right now. How's it going, Molly? Hi, Dad. How's it going, Molly? Hi, Dad. Can you pick me some fresh... This is the greenhouse, where we grow vegetables and other plants. Nobody's in there now. This is where Connie lives. Connie's great at building and fixing things. It doesn't look like she's home, though. Molly. Hey, Dewey. Want to have another snowball fight? Meet me and Trini at the snow fort. That sounds awesome. See you there. Hi, Molly. Hey, Dewey. Want to have another snowball fight? Meet... Hi there, Molly. Hi, Grandpa Nat. I'm going on an expedition, and I may need your help while I'm there. Can you visit too? I love sharing this tradition with you, Molly. Let's make some music! Let's pick blueberries so Dad can make blueberry jam. All done! Here in Alaska, we only take what we need, and we've got a full basket. Let's put some blueberries to that. I'll add them to my backpack.
Hi, Molly. Hi, Dad. Did you find any blueberries? Yep, they're in my backpack. Let's get them from my backpack. Anabasi, thanks for the blueberries, Ma. Now I can make blueberry jam. Let's collect some agate stones to bring to Mom. All done! Here in Alaska, we only take what we need. And we've got five beautiful agate stones. Let's bring the agate stones to mom. I'll add them to my backpack. Hi, Mal. Hi, Mom. Did you find any agate stones? Yep, they're in my backpack. Let's get them from my backpack. Wow, thanks for the agates, Molly. I'll polish these up so we can sell them at the trading post. Collect sap to bring to Auntie Midge so she can make her syrup. First, drill a hole in the tree. Next, put the spile, a small tube, into the tree. This is how the sap will flow out. Then, pound the spile in to get it just deep enough to stay in place. Now, hang the bucket to collect the sap. All done! Here in Alaska, we only take what we need. And we've got a full bucket. Let's bring the sap to Auntie Midge. I'll add it to my backpack. Hi, Molly. Hi, Auntie Midge. Did you find any sap for me? Yep, it's in my backpack. Let's get it from my backpack. Thanks, Molly. This sap will make delicious syrup we can have with pancakes. Bring the drum to Grandpa Nat. Bring the ball to the basketball hoop at school. Bring the dog treats to Suki. This is the greenhouse, where we grow vegetables and other plants. Nobody's in there now. Looks like the library is closed right now. This is where Connie lives. Connie's great at building and fixing things. It doesn't look like she's home, though. What can you find at the locks? Aw, snow hairs. 
Look at those caribou. Look at those caribou. Cool, an owl. Cool, an owl. This is the spooky house. It doesn't look like anyone's in there. Spooky. <coughs> Do you want some treats, Suki? I have some in my back. Throw the treats to Suki. <coughs> enough treats for Suki. That's where Auntie Midge is. That's where Auntie Midge is. That's where Tui is. That's where Dad is. That's where I am. Sled Dog Dash. Choose a sledding mission. Science Camp. Hi, everyone. It's me, Molly. And I'm Tui. Grandpa Nat is visiting Nina at science camp. I think we should bring him a gift, like yummy dry fish. We can take my dogs on a sledding mission. Let's go. Our mission, deliver the dry fish to Grandpa Nat. We need five dogs to pull our sled. Tap the dogs in their houses to pick them. <coughs> Jax. <coughs> Rascal. <coughs> Kiwi. Sasha. Kobe. Here's our dog team, ready to go. Help me finish packing the gear we'll need for the trip. Put everything into the box. Gang line. Tug lines. Snow hook. Try fish to deliver to Grandpa. Everything's packed. And I have my sled advisor app on my phone to help us. Let's get started on our sledding adventure. Three. Two, one, go! Here we go! You can sear the sled around the obstacles like dirt patches and rocks. Get the treats and toys for a speed boost. Woohoo! Extra speed! Oops! Stay away from the obstacles! Look at us go! Awesome! We made it to the first checkpoint. Let's see how the dogs are doing. It's really sunny and warm. Learn about the gear sled dogs need to wear in warm weather. Let's check our app to find out what to do. on the part of the app that tells you where you can learn about gear dogs need in warm weather. Dog care. Dog gear. 
sled, dog care. Whoops, that's not the part of the app that tells where you could learn about gear dogs should wear in warm weather. Tap me to read the page again. Hi, it's me, Molly. I'm here to help. When you tap me, I'll reread things to you, like this. Tap on the part of the app, dog gear. That's right. You can learn about it in the dog gear part of the app. Tap on the part of the app that tells you where you can learn about gear dogs need in warm weather. Warm weather gear. That's right. You can learn about it in the warm weather gear part of the app. What should we use to keep the dogs cool when it's sunny and warm? Warm weather gear. People can usually expect weather as cold as negative twenty degrees Fahrenheit while sledding, but it can get warmer in the sun. If running in sunny weather, sled dogs need special gear that reflects the sun. White jackets reflect the sun to keep dogs cool. What should we use to keep the dogs cool when it's sunny and warm? White jackets. That's right. That's what the caption says. Tap the dog to dress him in the jacket. Good job. Let's get back to the sled. Kept the dogs cool while they were running. Our dogs haven't eaten a meal in many hours. Learn how to take care of sled dogs when they're hungry. Let's check our app to find out what to do. on the part of the app that tells you where you can learn about how to take care of dogs when they're hungry. Dog care. Dog gear. Sled. Dog care. That's right. You can learn about it in the dog care part of the app. Tap on the part of the app that tells you where you can learn about how to take care of dogs when they're hungry. Hungry sled dogs. Thirsty sled dogs. Rest. Grooming. Hungry sled dogs. That's right. You can learn about it in the hungry sled dogs part of the app. What should be part of our dog's meal? Hungry sled dogs. Sled dogs need food to give them energy to continue running. For meals, sled dogs eat raw meat mixed with water and dry dog food. They should also eat snacks every two hours. Fish, such as chum salmon, are used for snacks. What should be part of our dog's meal? Ski wax. Fish. Hmm, that's not what the page says. Tap me to read the part that could help us. For meals, slap meat. That's right. That's what the page says.
Tap to feed the dogs. Good job. Let's get back to the sled. We're getting closer. Time for more sledding. Three, two, one, go! The meat gave the dogs enough energy to keep running. Uh-oh! One of the ropes behind a dog just broke. Let's learn what gear dogs need to link them to the sled. Let's check our app to find out what to do. On the part of the app that tells you where you can learn about gear that the dogs need to link them to the sled. Dog care. Dog gear. Sled. Sled. That's right! You can learn about it in the dog gear or the sled parts of the app. Tap on the part of the app that tells you where you can learn about gear that the dogs need to link them to the sled. Parts of a sled. Sled gear. That's right. You can learn about it in the sled gear part of the app. What gear do we need that goes in back of the dogs? Sled gear. Gang line. A gang line is the main line that links all the dogs to the sled. Neck lines. Neck lines link to the front of the dogs near their necks. Tug lines. Tug lines link to the back of the dog's harnesses. What gear do we need that goes in back of the dogs? Gang line. Hmm, that's not what the diagram says. Tap me to check out the part of the diagram that could help us. Snow hook. That's not right. Tap me to check out the part of the diagram that could help us. Tug lines. That's right. That's what the diagram says. Tap to put the tug line on the dog. Good job. Let's get back to the sled. This is our last sled run before we get to Grandpa. Three, two, one, go! The tug lines kept the dogs linked to the sled the whole time. Yay! We made it! Grandpa, we brought you some of your favorite snack, dry fish. Mmm, mmm, they look delicious. Masi cho, Molly. That was so thoughtful. I couldn't have done it without help from my friends. Choose your next sledding mission. This is the greenhouse, where we grow vegetables and other plants. Nobody's in there now. Hey there, Molly! How's it going? Hey, Trini! 
If you want, we can grow giant vegetables in my garden. Hi, Molly. Hi, Auntie Midge. More people are asking for my famous syrup. Can you collect more sap for me? Sure thing. Mustn't cho. Thanks, Molly. so she can make her syrup. Next, put the spile, a then pound the spile in to get it just deep enough to stay in place. Now, hang the bucket to collect the sap. All done! Here in Alaska, we only take what we need, and we've got a full bucket. Let's bring the sap to Auntie Midge. I'll add it to my backpack. Deliver the sap to Auntie Midge. Hi, Molly. Hi, Auntie Midge. Did you find any sap for me? Yep, it's in my backpack. Let's get it from my backpack. Thanks, Molly. This sap will make delicious syrup we can have with pancakes. Hi, Molly. Hi, Dad. Can you pick me some fresh blueberries so I can make some more blueberry jam? I'd love to help. Anabasi. Thanks, Molly. Hi, Mal. Hi, Mom. I'd love some more agate stones. Can you find any more at the river? Yeah, I'm on it. Masi, cho. Thanks, Molly. Pick blueberries so Dad can make blueberry jam. All done! Here in Alaska, we only take what we need, and we've got a full basket. Let's bring the blueberries to Dad. I'll add them to my backpack. Collect some agate stones to bring to Mom. All done! Here in Alaska, we only take what we need. And we've got five beautiful agate stones. Let's bring the agate stones to Mom. I'll add them to my backpack. Hi, Molly. Hi, Dad. Did you find any blueberries? Yep, they're in my backpack. Let's get them from my backpack. Anabasi! Thanks for the blueberries, Ma. Now I can make blueberry jam. How's it going, Ma? Hi, Mom. Did you find any agate stones? Yep, they're in my backpack. Let's get them from my backpack. Wow! Thanks for the agates, Molly. I'll polish these up so we can sell them at the trading post. Hey, Molly! Hey, Trini! That snowball fight was fun. Want to have another? Meet me and Tui at the snow fort. Totally! Snowball fights are so much fun. Tui? Want to 
want to have another snowball fight? Meet me and Trini at the snow fort. That sounds awesome. See you there. Let's have a snowball fight. Tap to throw snowballs at Trini and Tui. And watch out. Look out. Hehehehe <laughs> 